Well, I don't know if you ever watched my last video, but um, the um, the thing I mentioned in my last video was to like make sure the parks, you know, ahead of time is um, going to be uh, open. Like there's the Pendleton Roundup and things like that scheduled. Well, I failed to do my own reconnaissance because yesterday I was supposed to come here at this park and we ended up stopping at a different park um, which yielded you know I, I ended up with three silvers which I will not complain about but I was supposed to come here to this park uh, yesterday for a uh, half day and then I was gonna come back today for a full day but um, it just ended up being um, uh, that we went there and ended up spending a lot more time there and so I came here today and half the park is fenced off and I guess they're doing some sort of a beer garden for tomorrow um, so unfortunately last time I was here I got all my silvers were from this area over here and down in here most of them were down in there and there and I got that silver half and a murk out there so I don't have a whole lot of area left to work with onto that side over there um, so I'm just gonna do what I what I can a lot of the city workers are here there's there was there was one truck here a little minute ago there's one two there's like three four five five city uh, workers they were setting us up this morning and they're setting up these porta potties for like set the beer garden tomorrow but I'm gonna do what I can it's kind of noisy today the winds uh, supposed to be about 15 miles an hour so it's making a lot of noise in the headphones normally when it, I have a lot of wind. I like to wear a hoodie, but I don't have my, my hoodie just handy. I didn't grab it. But, uh, yeah. So, hopefully the city guys will not uh, kick me out for some reason. Yeah, I mean, I don't have no problems being here. I mean, I'm not going to go inside their fence area, even though it, I think it starts tomorrow. So, I mean, if I were to ask them about it, they'd probably say fine, but I, I, I don't probably won't go inside the fence area. Well, just like back east, you know, I called that. There's a park back east in Pennsylvania that I call Quarter Park because there were so many quarters. Well, it's like here yesterday I picked up those like $6 in uh, quarters. And today so far, I am hitting quarters. <laughs> a lot of quarters. Um, about three, four inches down. And uh, quarters lots of quarters I just hoping one of them is going to be a silver ring or a silver coin but they're not very deep but boy I'm picking up quite a few so far in the little strip I've been here I think I picked up five or six already already and nothing old but I've only done a little strip here uh, I'm just kind of going back and forth gritting this is a part of the park that I haven't hit much so I'm hoping to hit most of this today on this side. Last time I was here, I did cut across where they do have it fenced off. I did meander a little bit of that. Didn't find too much. So in that section, even though that's where like the little stage is, you would have thought that there'd be more there, but never really found much there. All right, let's keep going. I still got this little area right here I got to hit. We'll see if I get that all done today. Quarters. Yeah, it's not just uh, quarters. Uh, there's quarter. I mean, there's a penny. Uh, where did I see it? There's a quarter. <laughs> and there's another. Oh, right there. Quarter. A yeah, quarter spill. Probably even more in there. I don't know. Well, oh, that was it. Quarters. A lot of quarters. You know, I wish, I wish somebody would be digging this thing regularly. So get rid of the quarters. Because they uh, they stop me a lot to just uh, distract me. Uh, not that it's important. I was video I videotaped this one. I got down there and I was hitting something that sounded scratchy. So I thought, oh, it's a nail. So I deleted the video, and I kept digging to find out. And sure enough, it's my it's my first wheat penny today. <laughs> but not only one wheat penny. There's another one in the hole. I, well, another coin in the hole. Yep, another weedy. And is there any more? Oh, there is something. There is more, I think, in the hole. Maybe. I just felt it, but then it disappeared. All right, I'm going to keep digging. I'm hoping that there's going to be something shiny in here. But it wasn't coming in uh, super high. This was awful tone. 
like I said, sometimes if you get coins on edge, you get horrible tones. They might have been on edge. Of course, they might have been split apart, which doesn't give you a round, a good signal, give you a distorted signal. So I'll keep digging, see if I can find one more. Maybe there's three. I'll be right back if there is. So what is that, like five, uh, four? Did I get four? So that's mix six. So if I'm due for a silver any time on my ratio, my wheat clock ratio, I think that's number six. All right, here we go. All right. There was one more. So I had three. A wheat penny spill. Oh, wait. Is there more? Nope, I think that was it. So, seven Wheaties. Okay, so, you know, law of averages. Uh, should be a soda popping out anytime. Well, I was digging a garbage signal. And it's down there about 10 inches. But, uh, that's kind of cool. It's a, uh, just an old pearl, pearl-sided uh, pocket watch. I think it's probably a, what is that, Swiss, Swiss army knife? Yeah. Kind of cool little relic. No, no silver coins with it though. Garbage signal. This was one that uh, was kind of okay in one direction and barely existent in the other. Ah, this is really difficult this time. I ain't getting no, uh, no old coins really, but just got my first greeny. It's a weedy. Not sure of the date of this guy. This guy was down amongst the roots, which really sucks. So, yeah, not, I'm not sure of the date. Looks like maybe 29, 19? I don't know. Hard to tell down there. Or maybe it's 40. It's just a greeny. Uh, it's going to be a fun drive day tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be like 20 to 30 mile an hour gust. The wind woke me up last night in the trailer. Whew, it was windy. Got a weedy. I got something else in the hole. So I got a coin with a piece of iron, or a weedy with a piece of iron. Oh. Wow, this coin was flat, just like that, flat. There's the indentation right there, but scratchy only. Six, six inches deep maybe five inches deep you know scratchy this way came in I went this way it was non-existent I had uh, 90 degrees it was non-existent I turned a little bit and I got a little bit in there so I'm digging it I didn't even record it because I just there's no way I thought this was going to be you know I've done so many recordings today and deleted And there it is, just weird. <sighs> Looks like a Merc. Wow, just flat as can be. And then it was just just not coming in. I didn't even have to use my probe on this one. It was just like, boom, there it was. All right, I am so, so excited. It was like 42. Ah, <sighs> finally, finally on the board. Finally, finally. So you know what I forgot to say on my last, uh, my last silver was reset that wheat clock because there's a uh, weedy number one after the silver.
And if you're wondering why I'm not using my shovel, it's not allowed. I'm thinking this one might be a silver. Coming in like a quarter, though. Oh, that's super shiny. And a rosy. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Yeah. Sporting a nice hairdo. Alright, another weedy. Scratch that one. And I forgot already. I, I don't know if this is number two after that rosy or one after that rosy. Oh my gosh. Uh, camera must have shut off. Just a weedy. So that's either weedy two or three since the silver. I tell you. This one was coming in fairly decent. Most of these are coming in really, really crappy. Another weedy. calling it a day even though I have lots of daylight left I did a lot more hunting yesterday than I expected so um, I'm tired hot today I didn't do anything inside the uh, fenced area today the last time I was here I did walk the field across that back and forth but I really didn't do a good concentrated grid today I did the front part the whole section over there, I still didn't do that little island and the other island up there, but I did do a pretty good grid here and I retouched this area in here a little bit, only found a couple weedies that I'd missed. So if I ever do come back, I got a little area that I can concentrate more on the middle the islands. And uh, of course there's other parks in town. So, but today, this is what I've got in the time I was here. Yesterday, $7.00. Today, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars and change. Old pocket, uh, pocket knife, 
and two silvers and a bunch of Wheaties. Two, four, six, eight, ten Wheaties today. That, uh, I think the last time I was here, I, I got ten silvers and I don't even think I got ten Wheaties. So uh, it's, it's pretty good. All right, so my weekend uh, ended up being five, well, two days, five silvers. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, heading back into Portland, Oregon tomorrow. Um, but then we're heading back out to the coast, so I'll see if I get any detecting done. And uh, the coast, probably ain't gonna find a whole lot, because I haven't found a whole lot on the coast, but we'll try. Signing out is me. So the Wild Horse Resort and Casino RV Park is located on the back side of the casino. Uh, it's next to the golf course. There is a separate road entrance to it. There's the casino. And the RV Park is pretty big. Full hookups. And I asked for, today, this time I was in, I asked for a back end site next to the trees thinking I was going to get the shade and now I'm kind of paranoid because of the wind that we're having <laughs> it's ironic but um, yeah definitely uh, I really enjoy here I just wish the prices were a tad lower just a tad lower